everyone. Uh, I'm Karthik Guja, and uh, we have Raman Sharma here uh, yeah. from New York uh, for our monthly endovascular live case webcast. Uh, we welcome you here today where Dr. Krishnan and Dr. Kapoor and his team have another wonderful case uh, where they are going to bring in. Um, before we move on to the lab, uh, to Dr. Krishnan and Dr. Kapoor, a few housekeeping points. The next live case is going to be on Wednesday, August 23rd um, at uh, 8 a.m. as we always do. Uh, and we're looking forward for our annual um, endovascular um, symposium. Uh, please do uh, go into the website. The agenda will be coming in soon and you can register in pretty soon. Um, um, anything else, uh, Manor? All no, right, so before countdown further delay. Has, has started. Yeah, countdown has months. started, yeah. yeah. And before further delay, we'll move on to the lab. Uh, Dr. Krishnan, Dr. Kapoor, good morning. I think you guys are both sleeping, huh? It's a, it was a very cursory introduction of our conference. Roman usually does a better job. Uh, you know, <laughs> I thought we'd kick it off. I thought no, we'd kick I it know, off next I know, <laughs> I know. The, so anyway, we're, 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 we're only a few days away or a few Few, um, uh, two months and 60, two days. 60 days away from our vacation, yeah. I'm sorry, from our conference. See, look so, at that. You have, a, so, you have a star too like that. Ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. And so, 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 the only one who has any real excuse yes, is me because I was here until 3 o'clock. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, so. No, I, you're absolutely right. So, so <laughs> you know, what I'm saying is that we're only 60 days away. So, you know, the conference is uh, ready to go. Mm -hmm. We've got our faculty. We've got everything set. want to really encourage everybody to, to sign up and then come because uh, we have a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, agenda, fantastic, um, um, you know, faculty, fantastic live case sites. So everything is just basically fantastic. And, uh, and you know, for the fellows who are watching, uh, our fellows course uh, run, uh, headed by Raman and Ajit Rao, Dr. Sharma and Ajit Rao, uh, is going to be phenomenal. We've got, uh, you know, a wonderful agenda. Uh, of course, the fellows case competition is now in its, what, uh, ninth year or yes. something? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we've got more than that, actually, tenth year. And we've got an incredible um, uh, prizes for all of you. So really uh, encourage you to come participate participate and, and really work hard uh, to learn. So, so it'll be a lot of fun to be collaborative with you live in New York. So we'll see you soon. But uh, before that, I want to get started. Uh, we have a wonderful live case, Raman and Karthik. We've got Vishal here with us. Uh, we've got uh, David, our, 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 our newest endovascular fellow, along with Moeen. We've got Alina. We've got Mark. And of course, we've got Damien. And uh, so without further ado, we're going to present this case with David. He's going to give you the presentation and the angio. Uh, can... All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to our live case. Okay, give me a... a sh our patient, he's an 82-year-old gentleman. Uh, he is Hello. referred for bilateral Hello. lifestyle limiting clotic case. Right. My navy cross. The left, uh, less than less than one block of activity without any wounds or swords, uh, graded as Rutherford grade two, category three. His past medical history is significant for hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes. He has AFib on anticoagulation. Uh, peripheral venous disease as well uh, has had radiofrequency ablations in the past. He is a former smoker. In terms of medications, he's on aspirin, Eliquist, um, and he is on diabetic medications and antihypertensives. In terms of non-invasive diagnostics, his ABIs are significantly abnormal. It is 0.35 on the right, and on the left, it's 0.22. In terms of his arterial duplex, he has bilateral mid to SFA, evidence of total occlusions, and significant velocity drops with monophasic flow patterns in the bilateral tibials. Because of the clinical presentation, he has actually presented before for a um, peripheral diagnostic angiogram on the third, and these are kind of his films. For the runoff on the left, you can see that he has a proximal to mid SFA occlusion with good distal collateralization, with runoff to the feet, about two vessel runoff. How do I... Yeah, uh, this is just uh, below the knee DSA that shows that there is also a left anterior tibial occlusion. Uh, the left peroneal and the left posterior tibial are, are intact. 
This is our aortic ileogram that shows that at a previous institution, he has had actually previous bilateral iliac interventions. In terms of the left common iliac artery, the stent extends into the aorta, which prevents us from doing the conventional up and over access for this uh, intervention. Would you actually mind playing the uh, the iliac oh, one one more oh, time? Got this. Yes. I hate this catheter. Guys, why do you, why Sorry, do, you, do why I... did you guys give me this? I wanted a trailblazer. No, yeah, no, some, can someone help me uh, go back? Yeah. Oh, this catheter is curved. It's always going to create a problem. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so so yeah, somebody deployed a stent in the um, in the proximal <laughs> in the proximal uh, aorta. So now, you know, the problem is, you know, how do we deal with it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they didn't think the other side was important, so. Well, hold on, let, let me just see what I, this goes with this. Let's see how this wire behaves. So so what we decided to do is um, uh, we're now, we decided to, uh, we'll show you the runoff. Um, uh, let me show you. Uh, let me see. So off floor, Vishal. Uh -huh. Sorry. So what Vishal and I did was we got access. Uh, yeah. they, so you can see the stent in the aorta here jailing it, which I oh, never understood why people do this kind of stuff. And then um, now you see you got an osteal SFA, but then I didn't want to put an anti-grade sheet because the proximal is quite diseased. And then if you see uh, down below, you've got, you've got uh, the uh, distal SFA comes back, but it's kind of low with not really much of a headway. We'd have to really stick very, very close to the above knee pop, which we don't like to do generally. Then you see the, the, the runoff here. You've got a posterior tibial. <clears throat> we got a posterior tibial here that's robust, perineal that's diseased, but AT also that's occluded. <coughs> so he's got a single vessel runoff to the foot with no real uh, reconstitution of the DP. So on the ultrasound access, we got, we got access into the occluded DP uh, just proximal um, at this level here. And now we're trying to recannulize. You can see it kind of comes back there. So we got right above at the level of the junction of the, uh, I guess, the talus and the uh, tibia. And then we mm -hmm. just put a, put a catheter in. And now we're just trying to go up and include the, and pass the, the DP and then try to revascular. I hate these curved catheters in these situations. But Vishal, of course, has to make it more difficult for me by asking for it. So now, now we are, we are we're now struggling because it's going to push <laughs> me into a collateral. And we'll see. See, Vishal is right again. Look at him. He likes to show off Karthik. But uh, anyway, so we, we're going up here with the occluded DP. Maybe you can track it, brother. <laughs> yeah. track it. So I'm going with a command wire and an 018 catheter here. And I'm just okay. uh, letting Vishal, we just hopefully get through this DP. Vishal, can you go um, um, uh, RAO? Okay, and uh, yeah. the peroneal is? Peroneal is okay. I mean, get a little bit more, brother. Mm -hmm. I mean, any the, particular reason you choose the DP over the peroneal? I'm well, it's, it's, it's just an occluded vessel. So we thought a little bit higher. So okay. we thought we, we thought we can't really cause much harm with an occluded vessel. So I'm gonna probably just loop it and take it up with a loop and see how that works. <laughs> you know, and uh, it doesn't look to be that's yeah, working uh, pretty good. It's yeah, it seems to be okay. Let me see. Now yeah. let's take a shot from above, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just gonna a little higher for me. Yeah. I just want to see whether we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, you don't want so, the wire to break. It's uh, yeah, looks like it's extended. I know. It's seeing it's no, it's just looped. Actually, I don't need a uh, thing. Uh, come down, uh, push push up for me, little show. Let me see. Hmm. Oh boy, it's gonna be another I mean, just, problem. It's one like just one diagnostic uh -huh. thing, which is a little bit odd. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, the the ABI is, is point three and point two for this there level of, okay. of disease is kind of surprising. Uh, yeah, I agree. Give me a, give me another wire. No, I mean you're, the you know what? Is what did the, they measure the um, ABI at the DP level or the PT level? So if they took the ABIs at the no, they have to take take the, yeah. the higher yeah. of the what? Yeah, but, but still, it just huh? it's, it's surprisingly we're, low. We're, we're yeah. we haven't you know, given anything. Uh, you want to I would have assumed that you would have had multi-level tibial disease as as well. Well, you know, you know, listen, these are all this, as you guys know, this is an outside. It looks like a quantum flow ABI uh, with, that we got. So you know. The, the, the syndrome is the patient's um, that We have a quantum flow ABI, which tends to obviously look like that. I don't know which ABI they took. And, and the ABI not? depends on a lot of factors. It's just not just the vessel flow, yeah, sometimes no, no, the but, size but, of the but, calf. But, but, you know. I think it's just, it just also important yeah, for, yeah. for yeah. The, everyone watching and listening. That, like, you know, usually, typically, like, you know, whenever you have an ABI less than 5, Give less, wet, especially less than 0.4, you're talking about severe multi-level disease. disease. People are yeah. like most likely presenting in in the classification being in, in like nearly like critical ischemia or at least ischemic rest pain mm -hmm. so i think it's, just, it's it was a i think it's a good thing to kind of keep that kind of, those kind of things when you see an abi what you're really expecting to see so when there's a little bit of a, of a discordance i think it's important to talk about kind of what pk is talking about the fact that maybe there are some like you know 
um, you know, procedural issues that perhaps have overestimated your your. Uh, don't pull back the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Underestimated. See, see, that's why I don't ABI. like it for the, Charles, mm -hmm. give it yeah. the right now. There you go. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's a good go, direction. Go. No, I don't like that there. Go up. Well, let's pull back a little here. Go up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to. I, uh, I just. I mean, what? Why did you switch to PK? I just went with a command here. I'm just going to go up. Okay. Uh, a little higher. Okay, let's stop nice, there nice. for a second, and then let's see. Yeah. yeah, let's take a picture here, guys. DSA. It's a little bit away mm -hmm. from the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I think you're pretty okay. We'll see in a second. I haven't made a curve on the wire, which I usually do. Now that's the Angiomax. So we're working on Angiomax here. So hopefully we get through this, and then there you go. So we're off. We're off by a little bit. Yeah. So we might be in the vein, huh? Yeah. We might be yeah, in the vein. It looks pull like back, so, right? Pull, mm -hmm. pull back. Running yep, a little bit parallel. Like, yep. Pull back more. Let me pull right back more. There. Maybe. Let's see. There you go. That's yeah. a little better. Track it now, Vishal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, would, I mean, I guess the idea. Hold on, right there. Let me see. I guess the idea would be: Would you guys go with this, or no? We're out of the vessel here. Would yeah, you guys? Would you guys? PK. Yeah. Would it's you guys? It's too much go, of a loop. I mean, the whole idea is: Yeah, a loop is nice. I mean, I. No, see, no, I'm what? saying the loop is my, getting much bigger there. So. All right, I'm gonna switch. I, I gotta tell you, I hate these curved right. catheters below the knee. Push, I mean, they always yeah. take you into these little lesions. That looks a little bit more yeah. Generous. There you go. See, I, I kind of like. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that loop there, PK. Yeah, I agree. It's huge, though. Yeah, it's a huge go with loop. the loop. Come I mean, on. it's okay, right? Uh, if you go yeah. with the loop. Perfect. I have, yeah, it's a big I have a loop, though. Already, huh? See how big that loop is? So this is the problem here. Yeah, this yeah, is. Yeah, take that loop and go. Yeah, right. No, too, no, too too big. let me exchange it for... Uh, it, yeah, we're going to just change this catheter out. Yeah. I just hate these catheters. Let me just see. Because worst comes to worst, we'll just stick to PT. Perfect. We don't want to put a sheath in the PT. We figure an occluded AT <laughs> would be a better thing to do. But looks like we came out of the uh, the AT into the uh, into the um, uh, what is it called vein. I mean, the PT looks pretty reasonably reasonably big in size. Even if you have to put a <sighs> yeah, but you know, sheath, I think it still should be fine. Yeah, I don't know. I, you get, it, yeah, I mean, you're assuming that you're definitely going to get into the SFA. The SFA doesn't look very calcified. So I think it's definitely reverse crisable, and you have a space to put a sh short sheet on the SFA if you need to. You have anti-grade sheet and it? space to put it. So oh, you got it? Oh, I sorry. think it'll be fine. Okay. Okay, pull it to the shop. When, when was uh, that, oh, that uh, uh, left common iliac stent placed? We have no idea. That, that's, that, we, do not, that's, we, that's that a, we do not have an idea. That's, that's a pretty unique thing. If yeah. they were like halfway through a C wrap and just decided against it, uh, probably you know, <laughs> probably the uh, probably the operator could not see where the stent is. So he probably just deployed wherever he wanted to. I guess. Uh, we'll we'll go for the very we'll weird for stenting. It. I've never seen it. Oh, I mean, at least he didn't use a covered mm -hmm. stent. Yeah, yeah, give that's me. True. That's true. <laughs> that's give true. Us, <laughs> give us a V18 again. See the brighter side yeah. of it. I guess. <laughs> credit where credit is due. Yeah, so we're going to try a little bit with the V18 and see what happens. If it doesn't go, we're going to, we're going to default to a posterior tibial artery stick. It's obviously yeah. an occluded vessel here. I'm just trying to, trying to be a little bit more creative and not to um, occlude the, um, you know, put a sheath in that vessel. Vishal and I talked about it, so let's try this yeah. very quickly. I mean, to Karthik's goes, point, is if right. If it goes, it goes. I don't know. I'm not a big fan because he's a Claudican. We're putting a, a sheath in a single vessel runoff. You know, obviously there are bypass options if we wanted to, and uh, it would be it would be elegant if we just did it this way. The other thing to do is just to to get access here, like, and then and then do the work. See, it's not behaving. PK, right. what would you what pull would the, your propensity? What would uh, Vishal yeah. and PK and Raman? What, Raman, what would your propensity to put a to a, send the patient V18? for bypass here would be? Uh, it would be very low. He's a Claudican. Our surgeons Correct. at Sinai yeah. would really not want to do it. Yeah. Our, revive, our revived data with the meta-analysis clearly showed that, you know, stenting, uh, you know, stenting in, in the endovascular is actually equal to bypass. So, so I think that, you know, it's a, you know, you've got some comorbid things, obviously, with bypass that you avoid with this. So I think that at this stage, yeah, you know, the idea would be to do no harm, but to try to help the guy. And I think we could do that with this. With this situation now, this doesn't be There you go. That's the vein Actually, again. I, I, I like to pull everybody like here. Uh, because we are already into the vein way below. So I don't, yeah. I think you've already committed to a vein. So No, we're not. I think we bust in in that one spot that Vishal and I are right, right. See, we can't advance the other wire and then we go right into the vein. So this is not the vein right here. I can tell you that. So, so right here is not the vein. See? 
Let's see what that this one is. looks yeah. okay. Okay, advance yeah. it, Vishal. Now let's see. So uh, let's guess. Let's talk about our alternative access algorithm here. I'm curious to know how everybody would would choose this. We have and included a T mm -hmm. as an option. That's good, we right? We have a short nub of a uh, of a proximal SFA no, where an integrated vain, vain. short sheath is a vain. questionable possibility. Yeah, from the we have a PT, and then we have a direct okay. SFA stick. Mm -hmm. So where is where does everyone lie? I've, I've uh, clearly PK is kind of leaning towards the uh, the PK. do no harm of going towards the occluded AT. But where about everybody else? Uh, Vishal, where did, uh, how would you start? No, I mean in this case AT. We wanted to give AT a shot and then try to see if it traverses, which most of the time would be a hibernating vessel and probably connect and just work good. on the good. distal part. Looks but in worst good. case, I like I was talking about earlier. The PT is is a big size non disease segment, so I don't think with will cause much trauma. You can do on a five, six slender and pretty much do everything from down Trap, south here Trap. and still work on it. I'm not a, I don't know if I'll be very Trap. aggressive. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. To do a direct SFA stick or it has to be real distal, pretty much ending into the popliteal adductor canal, which I'm not a big fan of. So I, my next choice will be do a PT axis okay, and then uh, hey, give me a, give me another go up like, and give just me a better wire. thing. Give me like a... Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I would do dual access actually if if I wear it. I would probably put a sheet less into the PT and also get a um, uh, my sensor access into the anti grade access. Mm -hmm. If I cross, I would just put a sheet into the PT and finish off the case. No, I agree, Karthik. I'm saying that we yeah. can easily we can easily ACC. put a sheet in the PT. Yeah, but I think the idea the idea here is okay. But I would look. not put the sheet in until I'm sure I crossed it. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is interesting. Yeah. But but nobody's. Uh, if, it seems as though everybody would go for one of the tibials before considering a direct yeah. SFA stick. Well, I think you because can I do think a direct it's a P1 stick. segment. It's a P1 segment. It just becomes extremely difficult for you Correct. to access a P1 segment. And I'm looking at his calf muscle. I think he's a pretty significantly What's large calf muscle. So he's just he's not going to be an easy stick in the P1 segment. Hmm. I think uh, the peroneal. I think the peroneal is pretty reasonable in size too. It's forming the dorsalis pedis. Um, I, I really don't think it's going to be an issue sticking the PT. Okay. Well, where would you guys all do your the, the majority of your work from? Mega? You guys would yes. work from your tibial, or you guys would try to externalize? Uh, I would try oh, to you, externalize. You, 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 you to... can't externalize here because yeah. you've got yeah. no way to go yeah. up and over. Yeah, exactly. You've got no well, way to unless, go up and over. Unless, you, unless, unless it's an anti grade stick. Anti stick. But the anti grade stick, I told you, the problem this with the anti grade stick is it's too small. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's too small. It's a very disease proximal segment. So you know, that's we were the very hell-bent on going proximally to a short four centimeter bright tip. Try to externalize that's from this. from over there. Totally fine. Yeah. Mag up one more. It's a, mm -hmm. it's 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 aggressive, but yeah, give me a die. Give me some roadmap. I'm gonna say it's roadmap it is. Accessing mm -hmm. an occluded no. AT for this could also be a little aggressive. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think the step is the right step. I think this is the right step. Yeah. Uh, trying for an occluded segment is probably the right thing to do. What PK is doing. So, a question, PK. If you were to have decided to go from a um, a retrograde uh, from a direct SFA stick, how would you manage the hemostasis in Correct. this case? Well, I think I think you'd have you can use a blood pressure cuff. Uh, I mean, that's the one thing. As Karthik said, you you can you can use the you can use the uh, what is it called um, uh, the the um, the pedal sheet. You can have a sheet in the pedal, put a balloon up, and then yep. occlude it from the pedal. Uh, you you can have dual access, one above, one below, and then you can do it that way. I mean, it, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. The question is where, why we uh, let's go see where our catheter is now. It's probably pulled down. Uh, yeah, exactly. To the ipsilateral side. Yeah, I'm assuming the same thing because we're not getting any contrast yeah. here. Hold on. No, it's right there. there. There's just no contrast that gets common. Inject. Okay, we just okay. have to wait here. Still selling flush. Hold on, let me get it for you. All right, we're just going to give this a few more minutes, guys. Okay, what, uh, what if you get an anti grade access, right? Mm -hmm. um, pull, go with the micropuncture mm -hmm. access uh, from the anti grade, cross the CTO from above, get into the AT, right? Externalize your wire from below, from the AT. And uh -huh. work from AT. I guess we could. I mean, we could. Yeah, which is because your wire is already there. I think you. It's not. It's not like the proximal AT is closed. The proximal AT is open. If you get into the proximal yeah. AT, you'll just fall into that dissection plane which you just created. So you can just externalize your wire and keep working what from is... below, from the AT. Well, 
I, I first have to but, cross the occluded AT, right? Correct. That's no, the you whole don't idea. Have to. You can cross from above, right? Yes I think and you no. Fall, you, you, I think you fall, you formed a plane. I think if you come from above, your wire will just fall into that plane you created from in the AT. I, uh, there's no question. I agree. That's a that's a reasonable thought. But what I'm saying yeah. is, if we're all the way here, well, let's try a little bit, yeah, and right. then we'll yeah. take it from here. Wouldn't be bad. Maybe change out for a CTO wire at at, at this point. We are. We got a Confianza. Oh, okay. Okay. I think it's just a. Yeah, there's not a short CTO segment right there. A little nub. That looks much no, oh, vain, huh? No, I think, I think at this stage, you know, do like a car technique, come from above, do like a car balloon from oh, AD, that's, that's, fall that's into an the plane. Oh, that's an awful lot to do. I Correct. think we can just put a sheet in the PT and cross the thing. I was you know? going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know? because we're talking about one vessel runoff and not trying to access it. I'm just I totally to agree. Yeah. Like I, I, no, yeah, I, think I think it's, it's reasonable. A, because you already have the access in the AT. So it's not like, you know, um, and you can easily get the anti-grid access. I'm just I think it's very doable. We're completely out. Looks like it's <coughs> yeah. behaving like we're yeah. completely out. Same pull back, on. pull back. Let me pull back. Yeah, pull back a little more. We're definitely in the right path here. It's just, where are we? Yeah, I think you just, you just are missing that Proximo 15 to 20 segment is out somewhere. Like you're just missing that segment there. I don't know, it's kind of behaving a little bit funny here too. We'll try to run yeah, totally 15 to 20 there. is, uh, I think it's just pushing it out. No, it's totally out there. Maybe yeah, take totally, another, uh, yeah, another oblique and see if... Uh... No, I think I think we're gonna just going to go to the PT. We're going to leave this in here, let it coagulate and go to the PT. Uh, yeah. Pull back a little bit more. I think that's yeah. the only thing. And, you know, we're trying different things here. Might be spiraling, but it's just not... See how, see how weird it's behaving? Yeah. yeah. Let, let's see on the ultrasound if we're, if we're in the vessel or not. I wonder... Let's see how much I can. Can I get the ultrasound? <coughs> Talk around this, guys. Well, Vishal gets the ultrasound just to check on the longitudinal <coughs> view. Talk around this. Talker? Yep. I'm going to go on the Piggy, would you ever consider accessing more proximally on the AT? We could. That's another thing we could do. But that, the problem, I mean, if, you know, if we're, at, if we're, we're dedicated AT? to the AT, I mean, that this, that could be interesting to, uh, to to show everyone how to do and how to I mean, manage get that. Up to the... Yep, we could get a proximal AT access here. I agree. <laughs> I mean, that's another thing we could do. Yeah, he wires out. Yep. No, no, we can definitely yeah. do it. That's a, that's another option. We could put a sheet in the proximal AT that's occluded and then cross that way. We can fix it from below. The, the problem is all the way proximal. We're sub interval yeah. proximally. Yeah. That's what I thought. You're, you're right between the the, the outside, gave you are, the um, there. So uh, your concern is anti grid access yeah, is good. And, because uh, the DC segment out. of the P1, uh, yeah. the proximal Not segment. Yeah, no, no. I think I think what uh, what the Raman is saying is what we we both like. Push this up a little bit here. Yeah, I think I'm like. Where the where is your actual probe uh, at the Kisho? At the lower the one third. Yeah, won't go for that. Oh, so no, it's so quite quite low. Yeah, but yeah. no, we were quite low. I mean, I'm not worried about what we've done so far. No, it's just just the the location of the wire as far as where it, it seems to go subintimal and you know, yeah, you the extra vascular probe. space. I just want to see how far off we are. We're going to put a put a two minute timer on for me, guys. I'm going to try for another two minutes, and then take it from there. We we'll take a command loop it and see if it goes. We're almost there. We're right there. The way it's behaving, I like it, but see, it's it's looping below now. All right, get us a command wire. Let's start with a command now. Yeah. Maybe we created the dissection panel. We'll go through. <clears throat> All right, two more minutes, and then and then we're going to get PT access, and then we'll go up with the sheet and get this done. So this is, I agree with uh, you, uh, um, Raman, in, in the normal situation where we can maintain hemostasis from above, I wouldn't mind getting the proximal AT access. If I can't manage the hemostasis with the balloon from above, which I can't in this case, then, then I think, then I think you, uh, you are going to run into issues with possible hematoma. Uh, the, I like Karthik's idea of coming from above with a, uh, with a micro sheet, getting access, crossing the AT from above, and then, and then externalizing the wire and then doing it. That may make a lot of sense too. But at the same time, I think, again, at this stage, uh, we've tried this, and I think we have a robust PT. Put a 5.6 slender. Yeah, and, you have a pretty just, robust uh, peroneal just, also. And, so and I we think have a robust you, you should be fine. I agree and with for you. The, and for the hemostasis of the groin, the right groin, the anti grade stick, you just balloon it, Karthik? No, you because just you... Mi micropuncture, right? You just manually hold it also. It's enough. It's just a, it's a, it's just a 2.4 French strength. It's no, I agree. Nothing. I mean, I mean, you, you could do yeah, that. I'm not saying just, it's not you, possible. You're basically almost yeah. going sheetless. 
So you're not causing any trauma to the common femoral. It's very, very clean. You just come, come into the 80 proximal segment is wide yeah. open. I think all you have to do is form a loop from above and you'll just fall into your plane. And just externalize so your track for sure. and just work, keep working from 80. How do you externalize with just a uh, microphone? No, no, you just put the sheath in the 80. You just put the one sheath track. in the 80 and you, once track. you fall into the 80 plane, you're out. And just work from below. Parker. You're saying you want to externalize from below. Externalize from below and just take it I off see, and then yeah. do your work. No, it makes it's, sense. Uh, it's only 2.4 French from uh, common femoral. You just pull it out and manually hold it. I'm not saying that's that's totally reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just uh, take a balloon and just balloon it too and leave it. It's like it's just anticoagulates. Hemostasis is attained very quickly. Um, but again, uh, as PK said, like we were talking about not using mm -hmm. the PT. That's why I'm giving the options. But if if I were here, uh, PK, I would just probably go to the PT and just... No, I know. I'm just, we just give it... Yeah, I, I know. Feels, that's, but I think it feels like we're luminal. It feels yeah. very good here. Question is, should we switch out for that other catheter, which is a little more trackable? At this stage, you know? See, it's all the way up there. Yeah, we're very close. Yeah, it's a very short pops. segment you're but missing there. But the loop there. is getting bigger, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, the loop is too big. That's the worry here. That's the area that we need to get yeah. through. Uh -huh. It's so close. You want to switch up for the other catheter? Let's try the other catheter. All right. Get us the Tarumo catheter with the angle, which I hate. Let's try it. Hold on. <laughs> Am I pulling or no? Uh there it comes. Very tight. I'm going to give you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Get, I have the wire. Mm -hmm. So two more minutes. We'll try this, and then we'll be starting the PT in a second. All right. Um, so let's just see if this goes. And if this doesn't go, we'll leave it in the body, and we'll just do the PT. Okay, so David, why don't you talk a little bit about your your lecture while we while we work here put us on the side let uh david do his lecture and then uh he's prepared some nice slides which i think you guys will enjoy go ahead slides please mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's sorry uh, where, 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 what you want what you want what you want you, you, you pulled it out show me down it's out it's out yeah i know it's it's so basically uh for crossing uh ctos uh we have you know, there are a lot of considerations. Okay. We yeah, obviously want to, to loop here, we have considerations for access, a crossing yeah, technique, the, uh, what our adjunctive track. therapies will be, yeah. and ultimately what the destination therapy will be. In terms of access, we really have to consider lesion morphology, certain anatomic considerations, and also in this case, particular previous interventions. So we really have access in terms of antegrade, which would be contralateral CFA, which is what our traditional approach would be, ipsilateral CFA, SFA access. In terms of retrograde, as we're demonstrating here, we're going transpedal. We also have options for ipsilateral popliteal artery access in certain considerations. In terms of crossing techniques, uh, there's multiple. Uh, true luminal, subintimal cross and re-entry star and cart. There's also reverse cart. Uh, re-entry devices uh, that help us go tr um, true luminal from the dissection planes with Pioneer, Outback, and Tier, just some of the devices that are available to us. And in terms of adjunctive therapy considerations, there's PTA, atherotomy, atherectomy, many different types of variations of atherectomy, including directional, orbital, rotational, laser, uh, and IVL is something we also have available uh, for use. In terms of destination therapy, we primarily consider DCB, stent. In terms of stent, we have options with balloon expandable, self-expanding, uh, bare metal, sometimes covered, and um, ultimately down the line, potentially drug uh, stents as well. So in terms of uh, access and crossing strategies, uh, we have certain algorithms and we have classifications to help guide us. We have the CTOP classification, which is based on lesion morphology on the proximal and the distal caps. There's a grading system from one to four, and as the uh, grading system uh, goes up, the complexity of the lesion morphology goes up. And based on the lesion morphologies type two and above are more complex lesions where we may need to consider dual access, uh, or alternative access sites such as transpedal access. 
other uh, uh, working groups, such as the PCTO working group, has also come up with algorithms based on anatomic and lesion considerations uh, to help guide uh, crossing techniques uh, to maximize the success rates of crossing the lesion and ultimately intervention. In terms of adjunctive therapy, uh, in our working algorithm here at this hospital, uh, one of the main strategies that we use is directional atherectomy. One of the main studies to really look at this was definitive LE study, which was a study to look at the safety and efficacy of the Hawk platform directional atherectomy system. In this study, we they studied both uh, claudicans and also CLI patients in lesions up to 200 uh, millimeters in length, so pretty complex disease. And they were able to demonstrate patency rates similar to bare metal stents, drug eluting stents, and drug coated balloons. And the way they defined patency rates was on post interventional uh, non invasive studies that measured PSVR. For destination therapy, we know in general that DCB is superior to PTA, and we have many uh, large studies, seminal studies, to really demonstrate this. I kind of summarized all this in a meta-analysis that I uh, was able to research that showed in terms of DCB versus PTA in one-year and two-year results, uh, it's significantly superior in terms of TLR and also primary patency rates with no significant differences in amputations or other adverse events. In terms of bare metal stents, the primary problem with bare metal stents is ultimately instant restenosis rates. So in looking at DCB and bare metal stents, historically we don't have very robust data, but in this non-randomized analysis, they really looked at the primary DCB trials and showed that DCB showed significantly higher patency rates and lower TLR rates uh, in the middle section uh, where you can see the Kaplan-Meier curves uh, in long-term follow-up that was statistically significant. Um, but in the last uh, um, panel, yeah, there wasn't really any benefit in overall mortality. So what they concluded from this um, data analysis was that DCB can uh, be supported over uh, bare metal stents and considered in moderately complex femoral popliteal lesions in which both DCB and bare metal stents could be potentially be an option. In terms of uh, drug versus drug, primarily DCB versus DES, uh, the data that we have is, is here, illustrated here. Basically at one year we're showing primary patency rates that are similar in both groups, but not statistically significant, but they are high, almost 80%. At three years of primary patency rates uh, are also non-significant, but the trend of, uh, that it's demonstrating is that it's improved outcomes with DES, but longer follow-up is needed um, and the outcomes are not significant. So, so, I mean, that was a very nice summary, David. I mean, and, um, if, if you look at it, Karthik, I mean, basically the, the CTO crossing rhythm, I mean, uh, the CTOF uh, classification, uh, I only believe uh, that you know it's 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 useful for really the the access the access. The, the there was also a, a CTO working group uh, in um, um, from from Europe and uh, I think in America that was just recently published that talked about use of CTOP no. uh, with wires. So so now no, now uh, you know so I think in this situation obviously this is not a classic CTOP case because of the stent in the yeah, one. in the in the um, in the um, uh, what is it called iliac and the aorta. So therefore what what, what we're going to do now is we tried from below. And obviously, we we were not uh, getting through that that uh, totally occluded AT. Yeah. And now Vish Vishal is just going to get posterior tibial access, and we're just going to move on here for the sake of time, and fix this uh, 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 SFA hopefully before the the hour or maybe in an hour and a half. So we're we he's trying to get access with the uh, ultrasound now. I don't know if you guys can see the ultrasound. You can see the the paired sister veins, and then he's trying to go for the artery right in the middle. So as Vishal is uh, trying to find his needle. Uh, there it is. Okay, now he's seeing his needle right there, and then once he hits it, he'll put a wire up, and then we'll see. So no pressure, have, Michel. Yeah, he has blood back. I think no, it's, it's again. Just... You you guys like all these short needles, which I don't use. Uh, this is a very <laughs> short needle. He, he can't even reach the thing, but um, that's one of the reasons I don't use these short needles at all. I oh. just use a regular he micropuncture won't... needle and then go forward and get access. 
So I guess he couldn't reach the he couldn't quite push the needle in, and uh, and now he's going with a regular micro <coughs> micro access needle. Usually we use work, short really. needles because it's just uh, long needles don't have the stability sometimes. No, he wants a little bit higher access for to put the sheath in. That's why. Well, I think it's smarter to get a little higher access to put a sheath in because I think at the level of the curve of the uh, of the um, of the uh, posterior tibial behind the malleolus, I don't think it's a good area to put a sheath. So, so now you know it looks like he might have hit the vein. We'll see, uh, because just because it looked like it bounced off, but he will know in a second. You have the pedal. Yeah. So we're gonna advance this here, Flora. There you go. I'm gonna leave that wire in there. Just gonna quickly advance this. Uh, give us a little die. No, you don't need die. Looks, 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 looks like take, it's good. Let's, let's confirm. Like it's DSA, yeah. inject. Sini. Let me see. Just to make want. sure. I mean, it's going along the calcification, so. Yep. I think it's always be better to be uh, careful. Yep. Looks sir, perfect. Okay. Now give us a five six. You can see the access site is uh, is got a little bit of spasm. So give us a um, a five six slender, I guess, right? Or you want to put a cook micropuncture first? Let's cross. Yeah. Uh, get us a cook. Uh, uh, just get us a um, a dilator and an O one eight uh, catheter, micro dilator. Yeah. So then, because you're going to you go you're going to go with uh, O one four Y or O one eight. No, we're going to go with an O one eight catheter with the O one eight trailblazer with an o, with an O one eight wire and then cross and then and then we'll we'll upgrade the sheet once we cross. What do you want? Uh, a V eighteen. Yeah, what is that? What wire would you like? Command or V eighteen? Uh, we'll, we'll, oh, you gave me the whole sheet here, huh? Just the dilator. Oh, just the dilator. Yeah, that's just the dilator. Okay. So you just have to take the wire out. Okay, good. So give me the V eighteen now. So yeah, we're just we going to go with the V18 uh, yeah, car uh, It's trash. Get no. it up there, get a new, new V18. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to get it across, um, and the V18 gives us enough support. Give us a radial cocktail here, guys. So we're going to give a little cocktail to make sure that this doesn't cause any issues in terms of the, uh, in terms of our uh, um, spasm mm -hmm. and other things. Uh, so so question in the, the introducer. The question for uh, some creativity here. I'm still really intrigued by this this uh, left camellia extent. This like, essentially the is the like aortic extent. <laughs> Should we ever be in a situation where we would need to fix that? Uh -huh. How would you go about it? This? You'd have to use covered stents to raise the carina. Yeah, uh, it's probably what you would have to do. Covered stents raise the carina on both sides. Yeah, but no, on both we already have answered yeah. from this yeah. side, from this side, and create your own carina. But it really, Just at this point nitro. of time, the flow is I'll very good. I don't think it really makes any difference. So, no, because there are a few, even some some coronary techniques where you can actually do this to kind of preserve the the carina. I'm just not not sure the structural integrity of these of these self-expanding nitinol stents. What would happen if you tried to open up these stent struts? No, no, you can't open the stent strut. Nitinol stents, you cannot open the stent struts. It's uh, totally Thank out of the you. question. They will recoil as 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 soon as you open yeah. them, they'll recoil it. They have seen it in wall stents. They have tried it in wall stents. It just doesn't work. Are we done? Yeah. Uh, PK, you no, have no. any 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 thoughts uh, about this? Uh, I mean, I I, I just I think at this stage, I mean, I think you know you you've got a a stent strut that's open. Give me a little die here. I mean, not yeah, a little die. Exactly. Let's go. Uh, that's no. Uh, I think Raman's question is, if by any chance you have to do something about it, yeah. can you break the stent struts of that's the perfect. nitinol stent? No, you definitely cannot. No, it's not. Yeah. Off road map, yeah. That's there is a reason why they call it rocket that's metal. Fine. So <laughs> so it just yeah, cannot. Yeah. That's what I want. I want the loop. Give him the so there was some go. case data that they tried it in wall stands and they just could not work. Yeah. So we're just going to try to just try to cross this here. So we're at the ostium here and we need a support catheter. Give so now we're going to get the trailblazer. Yeah. Going to get the trailblazer and then go with the trailblazer and the 018 catheter. So yeah, no, I think I think Roman, I think the 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 learning lesson is that uh, you know people need to have technique when they do this. They need to, you know, a lot of guys don't want to get dual access when they're inexperienced, and even if they're experienced, it, this could happen. So I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, you need to get dual access. Uh, you know, put a catheter up or come from the rear. Watch the wire, please, Flora. Yeah. Uh, come, I got it. come. Okay, that's fine. Come, uh, come, and and uh, and then see what happens. So, so I yeah, think especially here, if you're trying to do an ostium. <laughs> Yep, especially if you're trying to do the ostium. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to do here. But, uh, <clears throat> probably slip forward. I think they yeah, they used forward. a self-expanding stent and it just yeah. pushed forward because very calcified. Yeah, you know, probably right. the fellow just moved something. it there forward, you, you know. Keep it looped. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Keep it loop up. Okay, Ooh, yeah. careful there. Okay, so we're going to try here. Okay. That's a little so. more than just a couple millimeters. <laughs> I mean, yeah, pull, pull the loop up. 
<laughs> no, try to go with that with straight. Uh -huh. The torque. Huh? <coughs> Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hang on. So you have your V18 here. Yeah, the V18. Yeah, I think correct. it's a good yeah. wire. Uh, I think it's a good bar. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I really would have thought that you would have just, just, yeah, just looked happy. You would have just kind of just, you know, entered it and just glided. Bigger, you think, uh, a, I mean, a command, like a, like a hydrophilic wire is yeah, better than like, a, I would, like a command let's, wire. Let's or try command. command. Yeah, no, I just, or, I just, uh, I just, just know, I just, gold or whatever they call it. I just so. took the V18 because I wanted support no, to no, get the I, I think, Yeah, but I think traversing so so such a length, sure. uh, try to with V18. Command 18, guys. So that so you can loop it and just keep going, you know. Well, we did loop it, but then it started going off. I think there's yeah. more calcium than we think. Yeah. So yep, I think agreed. at this stage, it looks so, more yeah, fibrotic. I actually you know? really like the the V18 for yeah, this. It's, it's it, good. It, yeah. it forms the little helicopter very well. If it's if it's a short yeah. CTO, it works. But if it's a long CTO like this, I think V18 like deforms the tip. No, deforms. But if, if you uh, keep on twirling, you you make the little helicopter and then just grind it all the way up. I've, I've had yeah, but the problem is with the helicopter. Really sometimes you can't you can't remove yeah, the exactly. helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's another issue. You can't remove that. So we're just gonna go with the command. This is a, a live it. case, though, right? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. You want to you want to see all the things that could happen, right? <laughs> I get another introducer. Yeah, yeah. So. We are all trying sharp. to make you it's hypertensive sharp. very early on. So. <laughs> no, there's no hypertension. It's just sort of, I guess, frustrating that we couldn't get through that that we wanted uh, the way we wanted it through the AT. But you know, it is what it is. So hopefully we cross no, this. I just want to decide. document it uh, right off the uh, right off the camera that even though you have me, Vishal, and Raman to deal with, you're still not hypertensive yet. So that's pretty. No, good. no, no hypertension here. I mean, <laughs> we just got to see how we go. Here. We, we never talk about beh here. behind the scenes. Nobody so knows that, right? <laughs> Hmm. I think a loop may be better here, Vishal. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. Just loop yeah. Uh, that's a good loop. Okay. Yeah, nice I would loop. Take that. I yeah, like that loop. It's a little big, but I think, that's, we'll I think it. shorter loop. But it's would a femoral we'll artery it too. We just want to get, get through this segment and then decide. Can we increase the definition of the image, like probably? Yeah, zoom in mm -hmm. a little bit. Let's yeah. do a roadmap. We're close now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so now we're close. <clears throat> yeah, see, we're very close now. So we need to get the okay. Put yeah, the I think it's going to fall in. Oh, well, we're just going to get the catheter up a little closer. It's hard to push without a sheath, and Correct. that's why I'm mm. railing Vishal hard here. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting Let's see. choice. Yeah, but it's a very there. diseased segment. That's the problem. There goes your helicopter. Moza. I think it's in. Yeah, I think it's in. Yeah. I don't know. Push. It looks like it was in. I agree with Karthik there, but. Yeah, the way it went in uh, with such a big loop, I think yeah, it, I it, it looks like yeah. it's just in. I just have to put pressure on my proxal PT so it well, doesn't buckle down. I have a question here. If, if, if the on. plan Let's, is really now dedicated to yeah, a, 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 why don't you a, just a put a sheet access? Why not put go a sheet with five six first? Agreed. We could. I'm not saying I we think, can. Uh, I think what PK is trying to do is just make sure that we are definitely crossed it yeah. before but, we commit ourselves. Well, you know, look, we're traumatizing a, a posterior tibial here. That's the single vessel runoff, straight line runoff to the foot. So I prefer here to to cross first and then decide. Whether we're okay, we're gonna keep this or not, you know, so it uh, doesn't look like we're. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, we're yeah. not. In. So let's see. Right. Boom. Uh, no. And this is where we have to be obviously really careful. Yeah. Not to give me a a, a a a stiff wire here, please. Take a like an 0 and 8. Um, um, what is it called? A, not an start or the other one. The um, connect 250T. Or a Turumo Gold, one or the other? No. Nope. Okay. So now we're going to go. So that's the reason why I didn't want to put a sheet in immediately. I think that at this stage, we have to try to get in. Vishal can also look under under ultrasound up top yeah, to show us where we are. Mm -hmm. See, uh, PK, sometimes in like in this case, you know, your anti-grade uh, short sheet helps. Like, you know, like your micropuncture sheet helps. So, I agree. Because, I'm, yeah, I'm not because denying you created, it. you created a good plane. You would just flop into the plane, and you can just externalize the wire through the PT sheath. Uh, but I guess it's still room to do it. But you're absolutely right. You don't want to destroy the proximal uh, vessel. Um, I mean, I'd like. I mean, channel. it's not like well, you know, it's better to stent the ostium. It looks like the ostium. Oh yeah, needs definitely the ostium has to be stented. Here. But I yeah. think I yeah. agree with you that you want to get into the lumen um, right. instead of trying to dissect it way up there. So yeah, yeah. I think either we can all work primarily from bottom. I mean, if we cross. And totally. everything could be done with one Agreed. access site and be out with yeah. it. Agreed. Yeah. So, 
Uh, there's a question from the audience. Uh, it seems to me like more of a, uh, you know, what's Comment. your preference as far as, uh, you know, how to use Can your you clean up, David, like access. I told you last but time? The question yes, was, in retrograde Talk fetal pull, pull access, the mm -hmm. we should pull the room. Pull the back. And I guess yeah, getting yeah. the axis, do you prefer getting it in the transverse mm -hmm. or the longitudinal axis? Do we put torque for Okay, him? Vishal, transverse or longitudinal axis? For retrograde pedal. For, for pedal oh, so. Yeah, so I, I usually speaking, I think this means just like it's any. So I, I think I think it's more of a training base. You'll see a lot of IR people yeah. do longitudinal axis. A lot of interventional cardiologists use transverse. Yeah. I like it transverse because then you can exactly see how the wall bounces. And as soon as you cross over, let's say you do take through and through, please. then we go quickly switch over to longitudinal. Torque. Then you can actually yep. see the anterior and posterior wall, and we pull back. You could be intraluminal. So both views, like how we do coronary angiogram, two views. So technically, we do the same thing here: is get in transverse, then switch over to longitudinal, so that you can see a needle the entire length, and then be really definitely be sure, rather than just sticking to transverse and not moving your axis. So that's yeah. usually it's a combination strategy for me. Yeah. PK. Yeah, I mean, hold on. I'm just trying to see if I can cross here. I'm just concentrating. No, I don't like that. Well, you know, I, I, I just do it on uh, um, more of a transverse view. I don't. I never, almost never go launch you know, so. Yeah. So, I think uh, if, I think, but the point is that it's rare yeah. you'll use a singular view. Second, I think yeah. you get your ones to actually to get the axis, get your flash, and then you switch yeah. to your longitudinal axis. There are a few accessories for some probes that actually have a built-in little port that kind of helps you keep your, your needle steady uh, at your 45 or 30 degrees, whatever it is that you actually buy. That is and a they have gold both for the yeah. transverse <laughs> and for the longitudinal axis. So again, it just depends on what you have in, in stock. And at the end of the day, it's kind of how you are trained and how you feel oh, comfortable. One you, point to take away, I think, is that it's important to have the right probe. Um, uh, Vishal can, can uh, lift up the probe that, that we have, but the hockey stick yeah. probe is probably one of the best ones to use. If you can zoom in on that, uh, it's a very small probe. It has a very high proximal um, uh, 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 clarity. So yeah. uh, it is not meant Careful. for any mm -hmm. deep femoral axis or yes. deep, deep axis, but it's very good for these superficial axes, especially in the uh, pedial and radial uh, levels. So I may Big do I may do what we talked time. about earlier here. I may get a micropuncture, to, it just a needle into that proximal SFA, and then and then put a wire down and try to externalize because I don't want to dissect into the common femoral here. So let's see whether we can get through. That's another reason to stay small in your profile uh, from below. So this way, hopefully, you pop in. See, this one is definitely not behaving torque around this one too david yes sir yeah, thanks, now we buddy. have the true of gold it, it looks like. yeah, yeah the gold wire is a great wire because it tries to, it really does find the true lumen. to find the yeah, yeah. Um, micro it, channels it, and micro the, channels and the tip of the wire is quite good we and i like it a thing. lot but hopefully it just pops in somehow but also it can also obviously dissect as well let's see if it it is able to just uh You know, I just don't want to extend it into the yeah. into the into the proximal cap, <clears throat> and then deal with that later. Maybe pull back and try. To yeah, then getting yeah. an integrated axis will become difficult for you if you extend. Yeah. The, well, uh, you probably could. I just don't want to extend yeah. it into the common femoral. Yeah. And uh, you know, and then get into issues there. See here, I like kind of like the way it looks, and then I think we get right into a dissection plane above. I think you'll find it. Almost. Mm. Uh, see right there. Yeah. It looks good, and then it gets into a dissection plane. So we're part of, we're partially in, and we're we're spiraling around. You know, that's what I don't like about this. So I think I'm going to ask Vishal to start looking with the ultrasound as I work from uh, as I work from below. Can we switch the? I'm going to go AP. Switch the transducer for him, guys. Yeah. Or we can even stick on the flora, the way as old men have done it. Yeah, in just the past. Uh, do a roadmap and just stick it. Yeah, exactly. That. That do it your way, PK. Do it your yeah, way. Yeah, we can do it that way. But Vishal is here, and we've got a good, uh, you know, we've got a. Good, he's a great sonographer, and we've got a, the ability to see it. So, <laughs> you know, why not? So while he's working, I'm going to let him work. I'm just going to give a little die just to see how far I am, and I'm just going to work on the floor while he's working here. So I see we're off here. So, mm -hmm. so let me pull back and try to go me more medial. It certainly doesn't mean like we're there. Yeah. No, nope. I'm sure. I think you're spiraling around that vessel. No question, so. no question. Yeah. yeah. You, can you see it, Vishal? No, I have to change the probe. Oh, yep, no. they're changing the probe now as we speak. 
Oh, so, right see, there. that's one of the reasons. I mean, I don't use hockey, hockey stick at all. Um, I use a regular vascular probe to do everything because I don't know how much I have to traverse. Sometimes if you want to see, let's say you're wiring a CTO from below, I mean, that's what I use most of my pedal axes for is if I can't get into a, a long segment CTO from below, I get a pedal axis just to it sheet just depth. to get it in. So if I have to traverse my wire through the, the CTO, way. I Three, have to track four. it all throughout the leg. No, the, not the gain. The once depth. you go yeah. across the mid leg, get. the pedal Let's axis, the, the, the hockey stick One becomes more. useless. You cannot track the vessel at I'm sorry, all. You're, you're saying you'll use ultrasound guidance to... Ultrasound cross. guidance to wire it through the CTO. Well, which actually really makes it very, very wires. easy to wire a CTO because yeah, you know exactly how you're wiring. Guys, so, how do you guys, uh, that's an interesting uh, technique here. Okay. How I'll often try. have you guys find yourself using ultrasound to actually do the wiring of a CTO segment in the... In the yeah, video? that's what I'm trying to see if I can do an EOS. To see, there's your wire. So right that's what we're see trying that? to do here. Yeah. Right? So, so you're intraluminal. We're, we're really luminal easy. here. Hold on, guys. We're luminal here. You can see the ultrasound. Let me just take it off for a second, uh, Vishal, because I made a different loop and I came from below. Let's see whether I'm better off here. No, I'm not luminal. See? No, you're luminal way where the bifurcation, the profundity. So you have to pull back more, a little bit more. To the right. A little bit more. Right a little bit more. A bit more. I think you just, think you just yeah, popped in there, Pika. No, definitely not. See? I'm not, not popping in. Okay. See? Mm. So that's why I don't use them. Sometimes you might have to switch your access. So it's I, I've never used a hockey hockey stick. It just makes it difficult. See that? Uh, so that also you know. must mean that then you get your access generally oh. well above the ankle, at least like a... I always get access above the level of the ankle. I never get it below the level of the ankle. Uh, the issue just comes I get it into, the, yeah, the as I go angle. just like PK does. Like I go a little bit higher on the segment, so it's yeah. easy, where the vessel is more robust. And then, and then oh, get it. Hands there. guys. Okay, let's, let's take it, Vishal. We're not going to waste too much time. Let's take it now on ultrasound. Stick yeah. the uh, the SFA or, you, or the distal common. It's just easy, yeah. Distal, then, uh, the SFA is better, buddy. You want to do the SFA stick? Yeah, just uh, just below the common femoral. PK, uh, uh, what I mean, it's my suggestion that, that uh, you just in the meantime you just put the sheath in. I think you balloon your track. Well, we can always below. put the sheath in and go with an outpack if we want to. I no, mean, no. The, what I'm the, saying the, is, the, why don't you yeah. just balloon balloon the track so that well, the wire just falls into the lumen and you can just externalize it very quickly. I because think I, I I think it's gonna fall into the lumen like we did in our link case. Can you, you help me, David? Ladder, okay. But you still have yes, to externalize it, right? So yeah, but I'll just fall easy. into this this lumen. You can just put it an O three five catheter to externalize. That's what I'm saying. Instead of wiring into an O one eight O one eight. Oh, I guess we'll make it more challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Why you know? do you make it difficult? You well, want to sheet anyways. I know. Will, let's let's yeah. cross first. You will cross. I'd like to, I'd cross, like to, I'd like to get access. I'll, I'd like to get access and then decide. Where we are, uh, I, I'm 100% sure. If you come from above, you'll fall into the lumen. That there is no question about it. Because you, even if you balloon the track in the distal SFA, you will fall it in. So it's impossible that you cannot fall it. It's definitely happening. I'm just saying like, it probably makes it easy for you to guys. fall in. Gonna let so, me now, talk. so now, it seems that you're. That's my wire. Right? Is wire? Yeah. My wire is right there, guys. It's, I it's think like, it's next to the vessel. Correct. Michelle. It's no, it's just no, barely no, 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 yeah. inside. No, no, dude, no, 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 it's sub It's next to the vessel, uh, dude. PK, it's right in the subintimal space. Correct. It's right yeah, in the subintimal space. Definitely in the subintimal space. That still counts, right? Uh, I know, but uh, it's just, uh, there is, yeah, I... I That's your micro yeah. catheter, right? There. The See, more you try, the more moving. you dissect, and Watch there is no reason to try it. And you'll cause uh, spasm in the proximal vessel just to get yeah, exactly. access. That's it why becomes I... difficult. Yeah, your lumen is already getting smaller and smaller. See that? No, so it's just, uh, I'm just saying it's not worth it. I don't think it's we have to try that much. You can probably just get it and get it over with. So it's. I know we want to do it with one single access, but. Hold on. So it's yeah, interesting. We always order. usually it's the the opposite order where we we'll struggle talk. from the antegrade for so long from a CTO and then you yeah, get the retrograde. And you wire just flies and you're done here in it ten is. seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, that's why it's a, that's why it's a live case, right? Pain in the ass. I think it always becomes challenging, that's especially a... when there's a common femoral involved. He's just one not second, being that aggressive. Off, off your profile. I'm, I'm in a better I mean, spot one here. One Go. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, the problem I, is I, our concern I, about the sorry CFA dissection. That's why he's being very conservative. You know how even in pedo we can get aggressive getting back in, but here we don't have much length to try yeah, to I think this is very fibrotic lesion. 
um mm -hmm. i think uh, i think we know it from the at also i think all the vessels are just extremely fibrotic occlusions you just right on top of it mm -hmm. like pretty much like i have to poke through it ah oh, you guys are really persistent there uh, i i i kind of tend to agree with this i think it's it's really hard to uh yeah. to throw the towel right, right now and get a third access cuz like you are literally right there can i get an astaro 40 please No, you'll get in. I mean, if you if you keep trying, I think at some point we'll get in. No. Maybe now, or it could be five minutes later or ten minutes later. But push the catheter. Mm-hmm. We stop there for a second. We shall ask for this. This is an Astrado uh, PK. No, we're no. getting an Astrado now. No, okay. I think probably Sorry, a stronger wire that. is better to tear in. Yep, I Because agree. Because you're 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 right in the uh, you know that you're right very close to the loom, and all you have to do is just right there, right one. there, yeah. yeah. Just get an astrado Easy and just tear into the vessel, you know. Yep, I agree. Hmm. I think I'm hitting the cap there. All right, astrado. Yeah. yeah. Thank uh, you. You know, other way to do it is uh, use a um, outback from below. That's well. That's extreme, right? With the with the posterior yeah. tibial. Yeah. If you, you want know. to stick to one one, yeah. If you if you want to stick to one uh, axis, then out back from below. Yeah, I'm not denying it. I'm not denying that it's yeah. it's it's something we can do. You're very close to the vessel, or even you can use the uh, interior balloon. So. I don't think we, we have the. We don't have it anymore. anymore. We don't. We don't? No. no. Oh, okay. No. no. I've been carrying that for you for years. The other one is um the new one from the other the with the oh my god I always forget the the name guys help me you know what I'm talking about right Mhm mm the needle yeah, yeah. The, the, oh the, the um, what is sting uh, uh sting ray no no no, 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 no not no, sting no, no. the no you know not the um, center cross no 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 no, 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 no. The, he's talking about the needle you push the needle and then push the catheter over it it's a multi five o one four o one system I don't PK uh, PK must uh, remember it. I, I don't remember it. You're asking me to remember? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nope, same plane. Try this way. Nope. <clears throat> All right, let's get it from I I think we've gave given it the college try from below. Let's try to get it from above a shot. Go ahead, you do it. I'm going to I'm going to stop. Let's do it now. Okay. I think it's better to just do floral guide. You, you want to do floral guide? Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just yeah, it's just guided. exactly. It'll just look easy. Easy, easy, squeezy. exactly. Okay. You see it? <laughs> so you want to go in? Go. I would go in the common femoral. No, uh, I would not. I would just go. No, you want to just one there. second? Wait, let me get I lighter. I want to go in the on, SFA. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> take the SFA. Yeah, lighto, lighto free stick. No, he's got lido in there. He's he put the lido in already. Lido yeah. free stick. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. All right, floral guidance. Left-handed. Vishal is left-handed. You know that, right, PK? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So. Mm -hmm. Watch for blood. David go there watch for blood please You're in yep. No he's not in Why not just you want to just Yeah try it There it is No nope. Got some blood back there you go Just the vein uh... no, I don't think it's a vein No it's too dark It is dark. Yeah. I think it's the vein. Yeah. So again, I think just a quick yeah, overview so, about you know the technique for this fluoroscopic guided access, you know, that we're going for the anti-grade. It's kind of very similar for the direct access for all of our viewers watching, the direct SFA access. You want to make sure that you have your II parallel to the course of the vessel that you're trying to go for and the tip of your needle should always stay mm -hmm. in line with what is yeah. fluoroscopically labeled as your actual vessel and as you are going you know more deep into the vessel you try to keep it your entire sheath so your entire needle stays within the actual yeah, the scope profunda. of vein vein yeah vein it's a vein yeah. vein mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It felt like a win. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> It's a, if you go low, that's the that's the disadvantage yeah. we have. It ra- the chances it of hitting high. the vein is much higher. But again, uh... then go high. Well, this looks better. Hold on, I probably yeah. where I'm probably in the vein here. Hold on, Vishal. Something happened from below. Hold on. One second. Let me get my hand up. One second, Damien. Let him enjoy. Think I'm in here. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. What happened, PK? What did you ah, do? Ah, I'm in the vein, probably. Look, I'm stuck uh-huh. right at the ostium. Am I in the vein? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You're uh, in the vein. Really? Give me the ultrasound. Can you really yeah. be well, in the I vein? Think like you that? You, that, I, I don't think so, because that's way uh-huh. too free. You, but you have, to take, the, your, the, you have the, to take your needle off and uh, try it and no, see. But the, the diameter yeah, of, take of, of needle. Maybe the I'm hitting your needle, Vishal. Maybe hitting the actual wire. Like the, hitting the actual lumen. I think may, maybe that's what's yeah, look over there. happening. Yeah. I mean, the, lumen, uh, the ostium has disease too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Can you decrease that? I was that? looking at the. Uh... So that's your Mickey Mouse sign yeah, right I'm there. Yeah, I'm right there. Right? So your artery is right there on the left of the screen. Take you a see picture. It? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let me see, Vishal. Look out. I might have punctured into the vein. Oh, yeah. You're in the vein. I'm in the vein. See that? Yeah, it's very uh, close, right? At that level, I think you're, you're in the vein at that level. The femoral vein are very, so very close to each other. So. I'm in the vein in that level. Wow. Really? Right, really sure. Great right wiring, there. PK. I know. Can you imagine? I got in the vein. It's pretty amazing. I'm, I didn't know it was that good. Doing mm-hmm. a lot of DVAs. Yeah, too many DVAs. <laughs> it helps. All right. Let's see here. The Hold most on. proximal What's ever it? DVA created. <laughs> No, sorry. Yeah. Go. All right. So what now? Let's let's talk for the audience back home. What are we doing here? Are we gonna I think go? We just get a, I would get a common femoral access, yeah, PK. It's yeah. just very I, easy. I think it's time. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. get a common femoral access. There's a long common femoral. We have a lot of room. Yeah. We can always manually get a proximal common femoral access. It's fine. I mean, even get a distal common femoral. It doesn't like, matter. The, 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 just, yeah, you can pull it out is, later. It's two point yeah. four French. Yeah, it's like nothing. Is almost down by the ankle. You don't even have to get a two point four. You can get a sheetless. Yeah. You can get a micropuncture access and just leave the inner inner wire in, inner knee, inner sheath in, and let it be. Yeah. All right, let's yeah, do it. It's you. like, uh, technically, it's like, what, 1.2 French inner sheath dilator is like 1.2 or 1.4. Barely yeah. anything, so it's fine. Just pull it out and hold mm-hmm. it. The problem is, guys, I, you keep saying common femoral access. Correct. You, so you're saying common femoral access to wire in and then externalize and then come back with the balloon. Is that what you want me to do? No, uh, not balloon. Just manually the, the, hold. The, the, Once the, you finish off your case. Idea, the original yeah. idea that, oh, that, that yeah. uh, so, brought, so, brought up. No, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think get a common femoral access with a micropuncture, put the wire yeah. in and externalize the wire and work like that. Yeah, exactly. Let's do that. That's what Let's I'm saying. Yeah. Still, and work from below. Yeah, still work from below. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Let's yeah. get just a retrograde common femoral. Just leave the femoral. inner dilator so my only which question, is 1.2 French. Oh, one second, one second. So if we get a common femoral axis, why can't we just work anti-gradely entirely? Because you can't hit the ostium. Yeah, we can't hit the ostium. Oh, we just... Well, if, we if you want me to get this a little bit higher... This has to be done from below. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this has to be done from below. You want to do it on the roadmap? Yeah. Let's do that. Ready? Get, get a little proximal, Vishal, so that we don't have to, you know... Wherever you tell me, I'll get it. I'll go I'll go the mid head. Mid femoral head. Yeah, and the femoral head is fantastic. You ready? Actually, right. yes, please. Could technically get mm-hmm. a. I mean, I that's perfect. Can tell how how, how big below the inferior yeah, yeah, too whether, hard. No, no, I have to come right. in. Whether or oh, not you he goes at an angle, right? Because so he's yeah. probably get. Yeah. No, no, no. Four it's four it's like, like, if, yeah. if you do want to work and to, if uh, integrate here, you could take. If you have access in the PT, just get it done with. Easy. I feel the calcium. Should be there. There you go. You got it. There you go. Go, go. Yeah. That's it. Got to wire it into the, into the, into the, this one Into the, yeah. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Wait. It bounces off. You might have to puncture it in. Hold on. Stop the Andrew Max, guys. Yeah. Let me see how it. Good. Okay. Look. Ask me, somebody PK, to wire it. Like ask, uh, no, ask uh, David to wire it. No, no, no not in there. No, 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 Rishal, you go. I'll hold the needle. Okay, yeah, just because it bounces in and out. Oh, I got it, Damien. Just on, take the uh, take the camera AP. Yeah. yeah. Good. Hold on. Now let me go. 
just bounce it off. Are you in the are you in my No 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 wait. I got it, Damien. Let go, let go, let go, Damien. <clears throat> no, to pull back. I'll... There it is. Go right in. That's Good. it. Stop, yeah. stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Just put the inner dilator of the. I, I think we. I think we can figure that out, Karthik. We got that. All right, <laughs> let, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's Wait. push it down a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I'll take it as much as it. Yeah. Right, right there. There you go. That's a decision. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a, that's probably the collateral, right? I think you got that. Because you don't have enough purchase to put the inner dilator here. Hmm. Huh, why is this out? Let's, Let's see. take a picture. Let's take a picture. Yeah. Hold on. We're probably in a collateral. So let's put the inner dilator in. Yeah, there you are. There's a little tiny itty bitty squiggle right okay. over there. Okay. Let's let's uh let's go AP here. Let's do everything under AP. Here, sharp. There we come. There you go. Just give me the inner, inner dilator, dilator guys. of the micro puncher. Certainly difficult. Is there a ooze in the uh, axis site, Vishal? I saw some. Uh, I mean, he has a big uh, belly fat. He has a so big how, belly, okay. brother. That's the problem here. I think I would just, just put the put the no, inner dilator. Inner dilator. This is the inner dilator. Perfect. Yeah, I'll hold it for you. Thank you. Yep, there is Karthik. You're absolutely right about that. Don't bend the wire. That's yeah, the key that's here. Yeah, that's why I want to go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. 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 Uh, good. We're all oh, the way in. Careful, oh, you're bending the wire there. No, I'm all the way in. Oh, it's it's already hopped. Yeah. See, so not long enough. I could go there, a little bit, but I don't want to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't like that wire. Yeah. There you go. Now it goes. Okay. Now you're back. Yep. Yeah, now you're back. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. It. Now what I would do is go with the V18. No, sure. V18 won't go. Into Actually, that. no. Command, command. No, V18 yeah. will go, bro. It's a, it's a 18, 18. Oh, I'm gonna take this wire. Yeah, up. take it, the wire it up. Does. I don't know yeah. if micropuncture takes a V18, but command is fine. I mean, you gotta hold go that. It'll bounce out. Give us a command then. Yeah. <laughs> New command, guys. This tip is screwed. Mm -hmm. You would just yeah. form a loop from above and go in. PK? Yeah, is that, is I, that I think plan? I think Karthik, I'm going to do exactly what you you were saying, which is go from above and try to get it into this catheter. Uh, with the, I'm going to keep pulling the because catheter like back as the shell keeps coming down, yeah. and then see what happens. Yeah. If we're able to get in, we're able to get in. If not, we're not. You know, we'll see. We'll, we'll get in 100. percent It's just very very fibrotic, as you said. I think I think you said it when you accessed it in the distal cap. It's just not doesn't look calcified, but it's just I think very fibrotic lesion. So I'm just gonna pull this wire into my catheter and let Vishal work from above here. Hopefully is enough. Or else we might have to do a cart or something from below, like you said, and then come from above. David, go to the other side and help Dr. Kapoor with the wires to keep it straight. Mm hmm Can 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 you just come this a little bit? Okay, you're gonna see. That's the problem. See, the problem is, is it enough? You have enough pushability. I think you're gonna need a, a, a CTO type wire, guys. Give us a, yeah, give a... us a confianza or something like that. No, that's the collar. Well, let's see if it goes. I don't think so. No, nope. mm. the cap that's is the right where you were. That's the cap. That's the cap. Yeah. So, so give us a CTO type wire. Let me come from below as you keep it there. At least I have a cap yeah. to aim for now. <clears throat> That's your marker for it. Yeah. Wow. Very fibrotic. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's where we are. Uh... But something is just subintimal right there. See how it is? It moves that. Yeah. When it goes into that <clears throat> subintimal area. Yeah, okay, we can remove your wire and go with the CTO wire. Okay. Now. What do you have? Okay. No, it's open to Perfect. Very tough case. So just as a gentle reminder, so we're Parker. approaching about 9.10 now. So, you know, I think... Uh, it's, there's a good chance for all of our viewers that the rest of this oh. case will, will... There you go. Good. There you go. The rest of the case will likely be uh, uploaded, uh, but we're going to keep on working for right now. 
See if we can at least demonstrate the cross. I don't have much support on my uh, wire. No. The support is going to be the issue. Yeah, it's it just buckled as soon as it hits my. Yeah. All right, give me a. Uh... See. Wow. I have no so that's the cap, but I have no support to push it forward. Let's go back to the uh, star. The only question now is to. Give me an Astaro. Need a little four French sheath in that. Uh, Astaro 30. Yeah, give me the CFA. Just balloon from below. Create your track from below until that's that. That's what I'm going to do, cap. yeah. Yeah, balloon that's from below close. until that distal cap. Don't dissect and the wire. No, 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 Don't no, dissect. No. Yeah, that's it. No, no, no. I'm and just dissecting. Then You're going go with the far command up. and it'll that's fall not up. it. You just have to create your, your, your track. You don't want to dissect the common femoral and shut the profunda down. That's what I'm saying. So you got to be very careful with that wire. See? Okay. No, our, our catheter is committed to the. No, I'm just saying you just got to no, be yeah, careful. That's all I'm saying. When it, but as it pushes back, correct. I got you it. You want to be very careful with that catheter. So true. All right, don't move. No send my number four. PK, if you uh, if you balloon the track from below, you think it's going to help? I think I will, uh, Karthik. I just uh, I think right now we just started. What is? Why is he moving, guys? Senor, no more ever. Okay. Sir, it's okay. He just woke up like that. Give me a start of 20 here, guys. Really, really one of the more difficult cases we've done in a while. Mm -hmm. For, especially okay, you want a flora? A lot of challenging stuff going on with the, uh, with our, uh, that, that iliac stent is really, is really messed us up. You see what? Uh, uh, your sheet, your sheet is back. I know to because the osteum, he moved. So he you have to divert. You have to divert the sheath into the. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't even want to introduce my wire right now because the way my sheath is looking. You don't want to perf that body. Yeah, exactly. I don't even wire. That's what I'm saying. The way the sheath, should I pull? I, I think I should pull back my sheath a chest touch more. Yeah. I just want to make sure I don't lose access. Tartar team. Nope. Nope. Mm, Not even yeah. gonna try. Yeah, it's just scary the way. Hmm. Perfect. Give me a V eighteen. I'm gonna go back in with a V eighteen and try to just push this plow through. PK if you um if you take a um I mean O eighteen wire or something, uh, the catheter and just go in from the common femoral. Does that help? I think we could, but the problem is we can't get enough wire purchase to get anything down. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's that's the problem. I agree with you. It's definitely theoretically it, it works, but because of the short common femoral, that's why we wanted to go from pedal here, and certainly did not work for us. From. Uh, from so the only thing we could do is just do a loop from top and just. The only thing we could down. do is go with a uh, outback from below and try to get in, or get in at the level of the common femoral, you know, and uh, that's what I'm. You know the issue here is where where is the the ostium, and hopefully it'll pop in here somewhere, but it's very diffusely fibrotic, and very subindimal we are. Uh, Demon, give me a command from top. Let me see if I can. Get yeah, it. see if you can wire from above. Yeah, I just track my catheter. For, I'll yeah. do it. I'll do it. Don't worry. I just want to get this catheter up. Well, let's give another ten minutes, and then we'll we'll work offline and see whether we can do this. Offline. Yeah. Let me try from command, and what I'll do is I'll try to loop from the top if I can get into the loop <coughs> and just break through. Looks like I'm in some sort of blind pouch down below. Talk around. Yeah. This. And I think you're right. You need a sharp tip wire here. Uh, we tried the start of 30, we tried everything. The only question Flora is whether picture. we go with a coronary wire. Can you floor mm -hmm. Sure, of course. Careful, you're dissecting. That's profunda. Pull it back like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, no, to pull back. Get. Okay. I'm yeah, that's down. nice. I like that. That's good. Push your catheter to selectively go into the. I think we shall. 
Does it help? I have no catheter. I just have this wire. No, your inner dilator, I'm saying. Um, inner dilator is hub? literally hopped. He breathes yeah. and he moves in his belly and then it pops yeah. out. And that's the last thing I want is pop in and out. Where... Uh, Yeah, this particular case, even going bare back from the anti-grade sheet doesn't really help too much. The only other thing I could, we could do is... Do your wire is the, touching, you, looks like, PK? No, I wish. I think it's just pushing it, the wire the, with the lumen. Oof. Yeah. So technically, I... If you well, I mean, I guess we're trying to be aggressive, but if you have this wire down as support, we can put a five French sheet or a four French sheet from top, which is in the in the process of it. Then you loop it, go down, enter, and then work on it. But yeah, now you're upgraded to a four French. Now we just see if this goes a loop technique that we've used so many times. See, oh, it's stuck right there. Um. <clears throat> No, that's getting pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me take this all the way up. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, now give me a, a coffee and a type bar. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Try to Tough case. Tough case. Pain in the, you know what. <laughs> no comments. Isha, you're unable to loop your... Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. It, it advanced a little bit. Push. Push, push, push. Oh, yeah, push, no. Like a man. No. push. There you go. There, there you, go. you go. Push. Keep pushing. Don't worry about the lumen. Just no, take I it. I am. I am. I just don't want to keep... If you dissect it, you dissect it. Well, that area doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like I said, that's that's what I'm going. So he has really very difficult thing there because he has no purchase. I have zero. He has zero okay. purchase. I'm He's just struggling. concerned my wire is going to... Get. PK, if you balloon until here, Snap. you don't think you'll be able to... I think uh, I have no purchase. Yeah, oh, balloon from down? You yeah, mean? balloon like from PT? down until here, your loop might just fall into the uh, track, that, right? I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one more time with this confianza, then we're going to put a sheet in and balloon. See, but Raman's Very laughing. Persistent. I don't want to give up. Raman knows. I don't want to give up. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw it, just for, for the record, say this is the longest two minute timer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you know. Sometimes that's a good thing, PK, not giving up, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, we never give up. I mean, we're, we're going to get this done. It's just a question of getting yeah. it done live. I feel like I'm hitting the cap that lets me track this up. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get it for you. Let me just get over there. <clears throat> All right, Dame, get us a four French, uh, five, uh, five, uh, four or five slender. Yeah. Nah, it's not working. Let's try the one thing. Vein. No, no, no. Yeah. Vein, for sure is a vein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, cool. four or five slender. All right. Okay, give us a V18, and then let's go with the, with the uh, balloon. <coughs> mm -hmm. V18. Bishar is still unable to push. No, unable. I can't. And my the last thing is my wire is now kinking. So the last thing oh, I want okay, is the wire okay, to okay. be stuck. And then mm -hmm. I have to lose the complete access Beating. to snap my wire out. Then we're in trouble. But it's literally now it's at the at the weld of the hydrophilic part and the regular part. So hmm. So yeah, I mean I guess that's the next step is to balloon it. You want to Give us a, a uh, four O balloon, please. Four O, long, long four O balloon. Four eight is fine. Eight is fine. Okay. It's there. God damn it. Turn it on. Yeah, it really looks like that. Uh, yeah, that Floor of a shell. Yeah. Floor is on. Yeah. That's not, not easy. Uh, if I remember correctly, did you guys turn your engine max off? Yeah, we turned it back on. Turn okay, it good.
Second ACT, David. Yes, sir. Can I get a syringe, please? Uh, give me a Spartacor. We can balloon on an 018. That's an 018 balloon? We can get an 018 balloon, guys. Yeah, the, you have an 018? Yeah. Give me an 018. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No? I oh, just don't want to dial it up. Yeah, no. I just, I just want to screw it in. PK, once you cross this, um, you, I'm assuming balloon stand? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no athletectomy <laughs> options, right? I mean, at this stage, I don't think so, Karthik. I think with the yeah. way we are, with everything, I don't think we need to do anything. I think we balloon down here, Vishal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right where the loop is. I think yeah. we balloon it. I think it's good. Yeah, we have enough. You go up top, I'll work from here. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to make yeah. sure. Yeah, the groin is soft. Mm -hmm. Let me fix okay. the wire for you. Wait, this is a short pull? No, it's a long pull. Pull? I got it. I got this. Yeah. Rail, guys. Don't let the wire go. Good. So now you have a 4-5 slender? Four, no, yeah, 4-5 four, four, five five slender, slender with a 5-0 balloon. I mean, 4-0 balloon coming from below. Nice. And there's a 4. I'm just going to take it to the right there. Yeah. Yeah. A little higher. Hold on, let me just give a dive from above now. Hold on. You pull the wire back, right? Yeah, I'll push it forward. Okay, I think that's that's kind of the cap. Yeah. So I'm just going to push the wire forward a little bit. Okay, I would just balloon here. Go up slowly. Going up. Mm -hmm. Still surprisingly outside the vest. Uh, I know. It's, uh, I think that's where three, it turns out. Remember on the ultrasound I showed you, yeah. that was the area where it really popped out. At three. Down. You try to advance the wire from above now. Uh -huh. No. No. There it goes. <coughs> Hold on, I'm give it to come off road now for you. Uh huh. How about a V18 from above? I mean, at at this point, if you go back with your balloon up no? and you have no. and you can exchange your proximal wire for a CTO no. wire, you can look at facilitated balloon reentry and try to wire directly into the balloon. See how it gets stuck on my. Want to try V18? I don't know. Let me try to. Give him a V18 from above, guys. Hold on. You want to give him a V18 from above? Let me put it all the way into the SFA. Oh, you know, you're on the, you're on the, post, you're on the, you're on the. Uh... See, that's why my wire is getting yeah. out. It's, I have no, I just don't want to. Don't dissect the common from. No, 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 no. Okay. I have flow. Fine. All right, get a V18 for him. Can we do a roadmap for you? Yeah. All right, we're going to try to keep working here. So we're going to continue to record. Uh, we're going to sign off. It's already 9.30, and we'll sign off, and we will come back and I think show you. So, so it's, it's still 9.24, so let's see. Yeah, we, we have a couple we, of so. uh, more minutes. I think five more minutes we have. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, think. I, I think it's as good to at least try to. If, we're, we're at a point right where I think there, we're, right we're, we're going to make it. We're now. almost there. I mean, I could yeah. always go with a uh, catheter here. I where I am. Hold on. Just a little concerned. I'm concerned about the common femoral. Correct. I don't want to mess yeah. the common femoral. Yeah. It so, seems as of right now your sheath is still at the distal common femoral. You yeah, haven't know, done any long-term damage yet. I Nothing don't. that can't be fixed. Uh, your sheath is out. Your yeah, sheath is out of the body. What, that's what I'm looking at. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not trying to push that. Yep, sheet is out, right? Yep, sheet is out. Yeah, hold on, can you put that road mm -hmm. now? Yeah, you're out. See. You're definitely out. Well, I don't know. Let's Are see. you? Maybe. It moves yeah, really you're don't. out. So let's hold pressure there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with that, with that having said, I'm going to work from below, and we're going to sign off now. We'll come back uh, down the road to see what it is that we can do to get back in. If we get back in, we get uh -huh. back in. So, um, you know, we will continue to record. I'm going to ask the AV team to stay with us yeah, and continue recording is... with us. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. So yep. is that all right with you Tough two? Tough case. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. Uh, all, right. Is... all right, guys, give us uh, okay. Now give me a, a terminal <laughs> Navi cross right, so and an 035 to... glide wire. You can answer. Just tell her I'm in the case. Yeah. Thank so... you guys. Why don't you guys sign off with next, next yeah. month and we're going to keep recording this. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, PK. Thank you, Dr. Kapoor. Uh, 
So uh, yes, I, as you see, you know, it's a tough case. And I'm pretty sure PK will get through it. And Dr. Krishnan will uh, give us a final round next time when we have a live case. We will uh, look at it and uh, we'll see the final result, which I'm sure is going to come out beautiful as usual. Uh, Sometimes tougher cases take time. Um, um, also, before closing off, we, I wanted to like to remind you, as PK said, we had a sleepy start. So uh, <laughs> exciting to say that uh, September 22nd to 24th is our uh, symposium with the fellow scores. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. You have two months, so you can just definitely go in and start uh, registering. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing most of you there. Um, excited with an amazing faculty coming from all over the world. Um, actually to say, um, so not just United States, but Europe, uh, we have uh, from Southeast Asia. So I think uh, we're looking uh, forward for a fantastic, uh, amazing uh, agenda here um, all over. So there's some IOTIC boot camps, there is vascular boot camps. So uh, if anybody's interested in the IOTIC camps and the Venus side also, we have a separate day allotted to it. So I think it will be exciting to see most of you guys there. Uh, without um, wasting time, so the next uh, live case is on August 23rd, Wednesday. See you guys again at uh, 8, uh, 8 a.m. with another exciting case and an update on this case uh, from Dr. Krishnan. Thank you. Look, look forward to seeing you guys soon.